Dozens of vehicles, a total loss right now at a fire at a Pawtucket towing company. While the fire proved challenging in itself, it was really the wind that made it even more difficult, propelling those flames toward nearby homes. ABC6 News reporter Natalie Nori was at the scene all night. She joins us now live in the studio with the latest. Natalie. Tiffany, you could see the plume of smoke from blocks away. People on scene telling us it was one of the scariest things they've ever seen. Homeowners adding they heard an explosion and went outside to smoke billowing into the streets. The fire broke out just after 5 p.m. on Friday afternoon at Sterry Street Towing, a towing company in Attleboro right on the state line. Fire crews telling us it started in a camper and spread quickly to about 40 other cars in the yard. Sterry Street Towing is, is a pretty large towing company uh, in, the, in, in this area, and they do have multiple uh, wrecked vehicles that are parked back there. Uh, originally, two campers were heavily involved in fire. Those who live in a nearby neighborhood telling ABC6 News what they saw. We pretty much just seen that there was an RV that was on fire. The fire started over here in a trailer, and it just exploded. It was the scariest thing ever. Fire crews said their main concern was the wind pushing the fire into nearby homes. Though the initial spark started in a camper, the fire quickly pushed into the backyards of homes on Weldon Street in Pawtucket, incinerating four sheds and backyard fencing. That was my main concern was that the wind was pushing the fire into these homes. Being so such a far distance from our other companies. It took a while for us to get a company here for water supply. Thankfully, the new engine that we have is a thousand gallons of water, so that helped us hold the fire in check until we can get more help. It sounded like fireworks, so we immediately called 911. The battalion chief on scene said although Sterry Street towing has always been a safe spot, weather conditions and the amount of wrecked cars in the yard fueled this fire. Anytime you have cars like that, you got one a fire going and then it just goes from one one car to the next. Luckily, no one was hurt and fire crews were able to tackle the fire before it spread to any of the homes. But the cause of the fire is still under investigation at this time. For now, live in the studio, Natalie Norrie, ABC6 News.